Hello, my name is Neil. Welcome back to the Wildlife Energy Challenge with AI War Fleet Command. Yeah. Alright. Oh, shit. What? Uh, mm. It'll be fine. Remind me to fix that later. Anyway, um, we're still doing the tutorials. We're doing the military tutorial now, right? Yes. Well, let's be quite a little screen. On your quest to destroy the hand command, the possible positive state, many of the doctors cannot be reached for goal, and which ones you pursue will vary between campaigns. Also, if your play. Yeah, that's not really. Excellent. Is it the which networks still need to be destroyed before it can go? After the humans tries to make it a normal effect in long term, after it. Okay. Click the stats button at the bottom of the screen and they go look at the objective time. Say that again. The stats button and the objectives time. Survive. Scout for first day of home command station. Scout for second. Okay. The planetary summary shows how many ships, how many ships of each type you and your allies have on the current planet. It also gives you information. I don't even know what to <laughs> Should we just jump in? No, not yet. We're almost there for God's sake. Sometimes enemy I have a kind of shit that you never say in this day if I know about it. So, you can press F1 to cycle through all the ships of the game this way. Hover over any of the items in the planetary... Are you in this thing? Okay. Now let's build your first military ships. Fleet ships are built at the space dock, while starships are built at the starship constructor. Constructor. Your ship takes time to build, so in a typical game, you will accelerate that with engineers. You can also build ships faster by using multiple space docks. Okay. Assign your engineer to increase the construction speed at your dock. Select the engineer. Then right click the dock. Is that a dock? What's a dock? Is that a dock? What's a dock? Then right click the dock. Engineer my fists. So you go over there. Then left click your space dock, and we're going to build a Mark 1 fighter, a bomber, and a missile frigate. Which is that, that, and that. Yeah, we got some dudes. Let's build more bombers and fighters in the real game. To capture an enemy planet, we'll require you to build hundreds of ships. Oh my god! <laughs> Having to keep coming back to refill. Each ship dock with orders would be a real pain. So. Set your space dock to loop build. While the space dock is selected, click the little golden arrow button. This will cause the space dock to repeatedly build whatever you put in its queue. So, uh, left click. Uh, 
and then but they're already finished. Just left click once on the bomber. Did I do it? Did I not just do it? Is that not what I was supposed to do? Um. Well, you gotta click the little golden arrow first. Okay, I did it. And then, then you can get him. Okay. So it'll just make four dudes. And then I'll make one dude, and then I'll make five dudes. Okay, fair enough. Look at them! Look at them coming out! They're coming out real quick. Damn. Excellent. You're now in the way to having a modest fleet. If your economy takes a dive for whatever reason, of a building, enemy attack, etc., then you can use the pause button to temporarily stop production. It's much quicker than clearing your queue, starting over. Control. Oh, this button. Okay, let's have to stop all of them all at once. Let's build. Now let's build on Gizip, an enemy planet. Send your mobile builder through the wormhole to Gizip. Build a starship construction. And a space dock on Gizip. Both are under the construction tab. For the purpose of the story, enemy ships want to take you unless provoked. In a real game, you'll need to bring some sort of military support along with your constructor. This is where things get tough for me. Um, tip. Did you build your mobile builder annoyingly far from the wormhole? Alright. Alright, so... Okay. So I want my mobile builder. That's it. My mobile, where's my mobile builder? I don't know. Yeah. So send it through the wormhole. Shit. No, right here. I need it. Uh, control right click. Okay. All right, and now we're going to build a a space start. And a Starship constructor. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! So I thought we've made 70 Mark III bombers, fighters, and frigates, and a light starship for you. We're almost ready to attack. But first, let's build a colony. Um, let's get a colony ship building. Select your mobile builder. Uh, 
Look on this construction and then choose colony ship. Colony ship. We can't use the ship yet because that still blocks in a bit, but this, but this way our colony will be ready and waiting once we've destroyed the enemy command station. Okay. Alright, the enemy command station on this planet is just a regular one, not a home one. Regular command stations are built by both players and AIs. Don't count towards the victory requirements for killing all enemy Home command stations, they just capture planets. Destroy the enemy bombers guarding the advanced factory on Zip. Zoom out until you can see the enemy ships. Then zoom in, hover over enemy ships to see what they are to make your ships attack. Move them within range of enemy ships and they will fire on their own. Target specific for enemy ships, yeah, right click. To see the range of which selected ships. Z to see the range of your selected ships. Z. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Uh, you'll, you can also use the minimap to hold T button for the enemy. Wait, why is there no minimap right now? Is that what you call a minimap? Hmm. Remember. Yes. To select many ships, drag the selection box around them. It says this one zoom down, zoom down. The ships won't attack, advanced. Oh, okay. Oh, and my game just crashed. 